Hey guys, it's me. Today is Monday, I don't even know, February 12th. And I'm having a difficult morning because I started my son at uh, like a, a school today, basically. Um, I, I guess it's, you know, almost like a daycare, but it's like an official like private school. And it's half day, basically. It's from like 7.20 to 12.30 in the afternoon. And he is, he'll be two, he'll be three, sorry, he'll be three in June. And it's February, so he's just a little bit over two and a half years old. And so it was difficult because, you know, I was the one that dropped him off. I felt like it'd be easier if um, if I was the one that dropped him off instead of like both my husband and I, then maybe that would be too much of a production. And so of course, it, he had a meltdown when I, when, when I had to leave and was freaking out and I just felt horrible. And it's just so frustrating to me because like the reason that I'm putting him in that I've enrolled him in this school is because as you guys know, as I always say, I live in a small town that has very limited things to do. Um, and I am an American. And so I don't have, you know, like all the family and friends and, you know, things like that for, for myself or even for my son to get involved with. So I, instead of him being home with me every day, like all day, I have just gotten to the point where I'm like, no, you know, he needs to get out. He needs more outdoor time. There, there really aren't that many parks, hardly where I live that are really suitable for a child of his age that are safe and fenced off. Not that much exists. So I just figure I feel that he would do better to to just have an activity for the mornings. So this would be basically him. This is him hanging out with other kids, having he has an awesome teacher. And so that's the idea, but it's really challenging for me as obviously his mother, as 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 this being my first child, as someone who is on another continent outside of my everything that's familiar to me in terms of like my expectations of daycare and, and my, my, um, I guess my, my, yeah, my expectations or just what I've grown, what I've, what I'm used to school and daycare life and childcare providers like looking like, cause it's a bit different off. It's, it's, a, it's, it can be very different here. There are many, you know, just smaller things that are different from like what you would uh, see at a school in, in the U.S., for example. Not some are better. Some things are better. Some things are worse. Um, so I always have to find like this happy medium of understanding that there are different options where I live, and uh, you know, some things. I, everything cannot and doesn't necessarily have to be like the American way or perfect to my my needs and standards and you know and expectations so it's just hard basically when you're from another country and and you're like leaving your kid in with it, trusting someone else or other other people with your your first child at least everyone says like after your first child this day daycare and leaving your sending your kid off gets easier but it's really difficult for me because it's just another layer of like I adds another layer of like ad adjustment and adaptation to um my life here i think obviously for a namibian mother it would it's it's much easier to drop their child off at a local child care provider just because it's their familiar familiar it's familiar the the environment is more native to them and more of what they're familiar with and what they are used to and what they've grown up with and just everything you know it's totally different so those are the challenges so anyway it's 9 15 and I'm supposed to be using this time to um, to 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 to, do, to write some articles that I have been hired to write, as well as to clean because I'm I'm forever behind on cleaning and my husband and I like our schedules are, you know, with a toddler and with us never having anyone to babysit him, we just have very limited free time, so. And we're always trying to do like side projects and things like that. And so cleaning just falls by the wayside. So 
Anyway, I'm going to try to keep my mind occupied, which is difficult, but I'm just kind of in a funk and not in the mood to write anything or barely to clean, but I know it'll be better to do something for the next few hours and to sit here and worry about if my son is still crying or how he's doing and rack my brain and give myself a headache, which is already a migraine. I feel like it's trying to come on definitely feeling like the migraine aura <laughs> because I'm, yeah, it's <laughs> just one of those mornings. So everybody says, oh, kids get used to daycare. Don't you know, worry about the crying and he'll get used to it. And I mean, like, it's... <laughs> I guess some people are more like cut and dry than I am. I'm just like a, a sensitive person. I'm an emotional mother, you know, like, and I don't, I'm not really a cut and dry parent. My emotions are not cut and dry. Maybe that will happen after I, with a second child, I'll be a bit more more blunt with that kind of stuff but right now I'm like big time like nurturer and just want him to be okay and not so big on uh throwing him into independence like oh he'll figure it out you know like that's just not my my ideal <laughs> approach right now so I'm sure I guess he'll get used to it after a certain point but it's just difficult now and uh you know, this is our second daycare experience. The first time it was when he had just turned two and I ended up taking him out because it wasn't diverse enough for my liking. Um, there were like mostly white children, but I thought it was the best school at the time. Uh, and then I think he was still too young. That was like a big thing. He had just turned two. Now, now that he's over two and a half, he has matured and grown leaps and bounds um just in the past like eight months i would you know he's he's communicating he can talk you know like more and he's he knows his numbers and his abcs and he he just, just comprehension has developed so m in terms of his maturity i feel much much more comfortable now so i thought he was too young at that point and then he ended up also getting pneumonia um and that was just to me the f the final like red flag because he was at daycare and of course, being around other kids naturally got sick, which I, I did expect that to happen. But like the pneumonia was just like the final straw. I was like, okay, let's just, it's time. It, it, this is not for right now. But then, so now, you know, the next year, 2018, eight months later, I found like a really great um, institution and with a really fantastic teacher. I'm just really, um, the energy is just really warm and friendly. Um, it's a mostly black it's it's basically all black i would say and uh i've done a lot of scouting in my town and i have been highly disappointed by most of the daycare providers in my town um either they're you know mostly white or they're uh like black but unfortunately i hate to say it's like super like disorganized and like the quality um the standards are like questionable um, and things like that. I mean, I understand like, you know, we can be relaxed as a people, but like at the same time, like when it comes to taking care of kids, like standards are important and it's important to me. You know, I know other people drop their kids off. That's fine. But, um, you know, I'm not going to enroll my son in a place that doesn't have the gate to the street closed, you know, or, or that the children are all running outside unsupervised. And my son here, he is at two and a half. You know, it's just things like that matter to me supervision you know i mean this is common sense stuff it's not even like a high standard you know <laughs> like so um yeah i've been disappointed by most of the daycares in in my town so i was really um excited about this school that he's at now it's a new school and i was really just impressed with their um approach and their organization and um just the the overall vibe is very like a family like they said and so i was really impressed and so that's where he is now. So now basically it's on Lance and I to get used to it and just like, you know, adapt. And my husband is pretty, as always, low key and goes with the flow. And I think the motherhood um, attachment, mother child attachment is like obviously the biggest thing right now because I'm really, um, it's difficult. You know, I think more difficult for me because I'm the mother <laughs> and because I'm a foreigner. Those two things. Are making it way more difficult for me than it is on my husband um he's I, my husband i mean i think his approach to raising our son um is definitely more 
he's not as like anal I would say yeah he's definitely not as anal as I am like definitely not he's more like go with the flow I'm more like where's this that and that and Lance needs to have this that way and this needs to be organized this way like we need to go out he needs to be doing this Lance needs activity you know and my husband is very like relaxed and like just chill that's his approach and super warm and nurturing at the same time so that st- that whole stereotype about african men and or black men and not being um nurturing or nurturers or african men not being nurturing well my husband is extremely nurturing to my son like seriously so he's very nurturing um but in a more laid and but his whole his whole parenting approach is much more laid back and casual and go with the flow than mine so he's not really bothered this morning like i am like he's just like it'll be okay don't worry and i'm just like are you sure like racking my brain wondering what lance is doing at this minute hoping he's not driving the teachers crazy his teacher crazy with his crying and it's just a lot i know that they're used i guess trained or they're used to to kids and the adjustment period but it's just difficult and i don't want to be a burden on any i don't want lance to be a burden on anyone either you know i don't want them to feel like oh god to dread seeing him every morning because but so i guess it's going to take it some time obviously he'll be there five days a week from 7 to 12 30 hopefully after this week it gets better i mean i definitely want this has to work out he cannot stay at home with with me and this also gives me the free time that i desperately need to do my writing work um because other if he's home with me all day my free time to work is is only after like 5 30 when my husband gets home by that time of the day i'm mentally and physically and emotionally drained like from being with my son all day he's awesome but you know you're tired naturally everybody's tired by the end of the day that's not my optimal time for working like in the evenings especially when with taking care of a a toddler it just isn't so mornings that I, i already know this is like definitely the optimal time for me to um become way more successful at freelance writing and to just have more time to keep the house cleaner and just things like that that I've just been like totally not able to do or not able having trouble keeping up with everything because having a toddler with you all day is a lot you know so this has to work out it has to work out and uh, I know I I truly think it's for the best for him although if if I was in New York I wouldn't have him in daycare I don't think because there's a there's a lot more to do in New York and I would just be that that mom that takes him to museums this day to the park that day to um to the botanical gardens that you know like i would be crafting if if i wasn't working like i would be crafting um so many things for him to do into his schedule that he would never get bored i would take him to play groups and things like that in this town you know it's just very very limited so uh i i wrestle with that because i'm just like if if i was in the u.s i wouldn't be having to put my son at two and a half into a child care you know situation i didn't grow up in a child care ever N- neither did my brother my mom stayed home with us but you know it's i have to keep reminding myself like the way that my mom like my mom's set up and situation as a mother is not mine although i'm her daughter we're you know and she's she's uh deceased but we we just like you know i have to separate i have to constantly like separate like um myself from her as a mother i'm always thinking about how she did it and i'm and i'm always doing approaching things the way she did it because that's what i'm most familiar with but that's not uh my reality since i'm living in africa (laughs) and she was in new york and it was the 80s and this is 2018 and it's a whole nother world so i have to accept and and uh, try out different different approaches and different options for for motherhood so anyway i'm talking too much maybe i'll stick in a a clip of when i'm leaving the house to go get him okay bye all right guys i'm going to pick up lance thank god i mean i i I got How was school, Lance? I just can say What? <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Say, fine, Mama. Well, Mama. Did you have a good day? Uh, <laughs> say, yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. What did you do today? 
A sugar's in this? What? <laughs> Stop. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so you had on your uniform? Look, show them your uniform. Well, that's just your pants. Bleh. Pants or your shorts, because you got to... Anyway, and, you, and your shoes and your socks, and it's hot outside. And he, he took off his shirt as soon as we walked in. I didn't get to film when we picked him up because, of course, my freaking camera on my phone had no space. So, fail. Oh, <laughs> anyway, three, when I picked Lance three, up, what was he doing? Three. He was standing by the window playing with trucks. That's what he likes three. to do. He, he was okay. But he my did have a difficult three. morning, the teacher told me. <laughs> he was basically crying the whole time until break time, which was like at 10 a.m. And from then he was three. okay. I mean, she's so one, cool, calm, and collected three. and just three. pretty damn amazing. So. One, two, I think he's going to be okay. One, of course, day two, one is the most di difficult. And when we were one, leaving, two, he's saying, bye-bye. But he was crying. Like, when we left, like, he started crying again. One, like, what, well, as we were leaving, he started crying again. And he's like, so the teacher's like, okay, bye, Lance. And he's like, bye-bye. He's like, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, you said bye-bye. Okay, so you did okay. You survived, right? Fun. You survived. You had fun. Right? Mama knows. Mama knows you need to have that activity in your life. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. Let's go. We can say bye-bye. Say see you soon. See you. Let's go take off your uniform. And it's hot and it's about 12.39. So he needs a nap around 1.30. So we can give you something to eat. And then we can go take our nap. Bye. Give me kiss. <laughs> My hair, please. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> say hi, Lance. Oh, hi. <laughs> no, say hi. Hi. Good. Okay. Lance is in his uniform, but I put him in his flip flops because it's cooler than his socks and shoes for the walk home, unless we get a taxi. Anyway, so I just picked up Lance. Today is day two. And he seems, he only cried at the drop-off. My husband dropped him off today. So he only cried at the drop-off, and then he was okay. And so when I picked him up, all the other kids were sleeping, but he's still awake. He's not really on their nap schedule yet, so he'll probably fall into that. Anyway, I'm glad that he's, he's adjusting pretty well, I would say. The fact that he, you know, didn't cry the whole morning today like he did yesterday. So, Lance, did you have fun? Did you have fun? Yes! Oh, you're smiling. It's hot. You gotta put on your hat. Oh my god. It's like the temperature jumps up 10,000 degrees just because the clouds moved away. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm putting on his hat. Sorry. Good lord. It is hot, right? Come on, let's go. Anyway, we gotta go. It's too damn hot. Maybe I'll probably get a taxi. I don't know. Actually, stop at the supermarket. Okay, guys. Bye. Have fun. Have fun. Love you. Love you. Wait. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Bye bye. See you soon, okay? <laughs> Have fun. Have fun. Love you. Oh, thank you. Love you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Love you.